Hey, hey, sister, you say we're too judgmental? You don't tell me I don't believe in the Lord because I'm going to the store. So, so, sister, I asked you a question, right? I said, what if, what, what, if, what if God said... You're supposed to be out here spreading the word. Not right, and sister, the word says, the word says to do this. Watch this. Watch this, sister. Listen, we out here because we love our people. Don't so take... Word, sister, don't listen. Judge. Don't take correction as hatred. Is that your son? Is that your son? Do you correct your son because you love him? Sister, that's what that's what the Bible. Give me First Timothy three sixteen. I'm gonna show you what the Word of God is for. Second Timothy, it's Second Timothy three sixteen. Second Timothy three sixteen. Come on, hurry up. Watch. I'm gonna show you what it says. This is the book of Second Timothy chapter three sixteen. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. See, the Word of God is for correction. That's what we're giving you. Read it again. The, all scripture is given by God, by the inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. All, the whole Bible is given for correction, and the people that live in the worst conditions say, don't correct me. Crazy. Amazing. We, we live in the worst places. We're given the worst things. We have the worst role models, and we're saying, don't correct that. I want to stay the same. You're too judgmental. You don't tell the judge. You're too, hey, Your Honor, you're too judgmental. She's not paying for the damage that was done to your house. Um, I, I disagree with you. Goodbye. Only God can judge me. Do, hey, do people say that in court? My man right there with the hat on. Do people say that in court? Do people say only God can judge me? Yes. Or, do they, or do they take whatever the judge gives them? They take whatever the judge gives them. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't walk around talking about, you're too judgmental. The Bible is for correction. She said, give us the word of God. We are. And the Bible, the word of God is for correction. Right. Amazing. Amazing. What you, got, what you got on that? A few moments later. I mean, what you got to be 100% sure what you're saying. So that's what that law is saying? Yeah. Nah, that's not what that's going into. Baron, listen, listen. A, a witness is what? In court, a witness is what? We ain't talking about... You said not bearing no, false no, witness. No. So what is witness talking about? We ain't talking about the worldly court here. We're talking about the court of God, Give me Leviticus right? 19, 17 real quick. We're talking about sitting in front of the throne yep. of God. Yep, yep. So, now, if you got a problem, you're not supposed to correct nobody? If somebody... Let me ask you this. You, do you have do you have issues over, uh, with the Bible? You have things that you have wrong? I'm a prophet. That's what I am. And I'm going to correct you if you're wrong. That's what I'm going to do. Right? I'm going to do that because if I love you, if I love you, I'm going to correct you. That's what the Bible says. Can I read you a scripture real quick? Then I'm going to let you go. I'm going to read you one scripture and I want to hear what your thoughts are on this. Leviticus 19, 17. Leviticus 19, verse 17. Yeah. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So now it says you shouldn't hate your brother. We agree. We're on the same page there, right? Now watch. It's going to give you the opposite of what hatred is. Because it tells you not to hate your brother. Now it tells you what to actually do to love them, right? Go ahead. Watch. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So when it says rebuke thy neighbor, what does that mean? Okay, now. I'm asking you, what does rebuke mean? I, 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 I want to hear your thoughts later, but no, no, rebuke means what? Me. No, I'm asking you, what does rebuke mean? That's simple. No, it's a simple not. question. No, 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 what does rebuke mean? All right, rebuke means correct. That's what it means. Right. So if you have something wrong with you, I'm supposed to let you know. That's the opposite no, of hatred. No, That's what would be hatred would be. Part and you're it your own. I can read it over and over again to you in the Bible. I can read it to you. I can read you that same thing over and over and over again in the Bible. And God, Christ told you to correct your brother. Right, but but did Christ tell you to correct your brother? Yes or no? Did Christ tell you to correct your brother? Yes or no? Did Christ tell you to correct your brother? Yes or no? Did Christ tell you to correct your brother? Yes or no? Okay. No, 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 no. You just said it. You just said you should correct your brother. So is that hatred to correct your brother? We're not insulting anybody. We're, we're letting people know. Listen, listen. We're letting people know what the Bible says. Like for an, ex for an example, right? Do you eat shrimp, crab, pork, or lobster? Okay. Now, is that wrong to God? Okay, Leviticus chapter 11. Now, watch. See? Now, here we go. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's the issue. You don't want me to love you. You don't want me to love you. That's the problem. 
It's not hatred. I'm trying to show you what the Bible says. And you don't want to see that. You're lying. He's lying. Oh, man. Leviticus, read it, read it, read it, Leviticus chapter 11. No, my no, brother. No, no, no. My brother. Look, look, look. Leviticus said. chapter 11 and verse 7. No, you no, say no. you eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. Yeah. I just want to show you. I want to what show you. I actually love you. That's no, all I'm trying to do. No, because if I was eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster, I would want you to show me these scriptures. Yes. That's what I want you to do. I want you to say, Daddy L. That's Jesus wrong. Know? Jesus told me to correct my brother as no. long as I'm not Jesus doing it. I don't eat shrimp crab pork. Give me Matthew Jesus chapter 7 real quick. Oh, okay. What verse is that? Jesus. What verse is that? Jesus, Jesus said you can eat whatever you want? Yes. What, verse is it? what verse is it? Tell me what verse it is. It's in Acts of the Apostles. Oh, man. You're off. That's Acts chapter 10. Huh? That's not. No, that's wrong. That's not what Jesus never said that. That was Peter talking, and that was a vision. That's what I'm telling you. You don't know the Bible. I'm trying to help you. No, Leviticus no, chapter 11 no, and verse 7. No, no. I'm going to go to Acts 10 for this. Oh. Truth come out and y'all run it. You go to Acts 10. Go on, come in. Look, see, see, You're I, lying. are you a Christian? You're lying. You're a Christian? You want me Christ to reprove you? Are you a Christian? You're yes lying. or no? Christians are the biggest liars on the planet. They run whenever you deal with a problem. Acts chapter 10 and start at verse, uh, whatever verse he called. Right there, verse 12. Acts chapter 10, verse 12. For we're, we're, we're all manner of four footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creepy things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. That's right. But Peter said, Not so, Lord. He said, Not so, because he kept the law. He didn't eat pork. He didn't eat pork. Read, read it again. Read it so. Read it again. You're not right. You're wrong. And I'm trying to help you because I love you. Read it again. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common. Or unclean. Peter Keep never reading. ate pork. Keep reading. Peter Keep never reading. ate pork. Keep reading. Peter never ate Keep pork. Reading. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Peter never ate pork. You're wrong, my brother. Keep reading. Can you admit you're wrong? No. Can you admit you're wrong? No. No. Peter just said Keep he reading. didn't eat it. That means he kept the law. We're going to read the Keep law. Reading. Leviticus 11 verse 7. No, no, no. And the swine, though we divide the hoof and be club and put it. No. Yet he chewed no. not the cut. He is unclean Go to you. Back. See what the Bible says? Pork back. is unclean to you. You're not going to make it clean. Fair. Now we'll go back to Acts. Peter kept that law. You don't. You're no. breaking Keep the waiting. laws of God. Keep There's waiting. no hatred in me telling you that. I'm telling you, if God comes back today, he's going to judge you for eating pork. You're not supposed to be eating pork. Regardless of what I read, it's not going to prove your point. You are wrong. Let's go on. Peter's going to talk about men. Man, that's what Peter's going to talk about. But as far as food, he never ate anything unclean. That's right. What verse do you want me to read? Continue where he what verse off. do you want me to read? See, you don't know the Bible. Somebody give him a Bible so he can tell me what verse. Right, here, you go, man. here you go. Show me here what you verse you want. You don't know the Bible. Keep reading. Watch. And the voice spake unto him again the second time. What God had cleansed, that called not thou coming. So what did God cleanse? Food or people? Did God cleanse food? Give me Isaiah 66 and verse 15. That's what I'm telling you. You don't know your Bible. You're going to go in there and buy pork and get put to death when Christ comes back. And that's love. That's love. I'm going to show it to you in the Bible. Isaiah 66 and verse 15. What it is is in your Christian church, you've been shown hatred. That's what it is. You don't know what love looks like. Oh, my God. Oh, hell. Holy Jesus. What is that? Oh, my. What the? That's the problem. That's why they sell you pork. Isaiah 66 and verse 15. Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. When he comes back, he's going to plead with all flesh according to them breaking the laws of God, my brother. Go to Acts 10 and 28 real quick. Let's read it. This is what Acts 10 and verse 15 was talking about for you, man. Don't buy no pork and keep the Sabbath. You ain't supposed to be buying or selling. If you love God, you wouldn't do that. Read. Acts 10 verse 28. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. That's what the Bible is talking about in Acts 10. It is not talking about you eating pork. The Bible never justify you eating pork. So if you're coming out of Albertson and you're buying pork, shrimp, uh, shrimp, crab, lobster, all of those things are abomination to God. Go back to Isaiah 66. And this is the judgment. If we show you the judgment, if I say don't run on the train tracks, you're going to get hit by the train. That is not hatred. This is what our people have to get through their head. Somebody telling you not to die is love. That's what I would want somebody to do for me. Jump to that. 
Isaiah 66, verse 16. Hey, my brother in the black shirt over there, man. Listen to this. Read. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens, behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. You see what the Bible says? The Bible says that God is going to kill those who are eating pork when he comes back. You're not going to be able to eat all the pork you want, the chorizo you want, right? Eat the uh, carnitas all you want and be and not have judgment when the Lord returns. You can't eat what you want. You must keep the laws of God. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. 